All right. All right, we're here at Memorial High School, and it's uh, Monday, October 2nd, all right? Uh, today we're doing SOLIDWORKS, and we're making a rim in SOLIDWORKS, and we did part one of the rim. Actually, can we see it? Yeah. We helped out uh, one of my students the other day make the profile. I think we did a video for that. Let's see, where's the profile? It's right, right here. You can see it now. Well, that's not very good. Hold on. Let me, uh, let's do this. I'll edit this. Oh, you're inside of a sketch. That's why. I will edit the sketch. So this is what we started with there. And I did a video on that. So if you missed that part, check the other video. Okay. All right. Back over here. Okay. So this, this student here has already done... Yeah, make sure it's all squared out. There you go. This student here has already done the um, the, pro the profile re revolve, but the next thing is to make um, the, uh, the spokes or to remove the material that's not going to be, well, that wouldn't be there for the spoke. And then you're going to pattern it around. So it gets tricky because some of the measurements are kind of interesting. Um, I don't know if I would do it this way, but this is the direction. So if you were following the directions, what you would do is, um, the first thing you would do is you'd start a sketch and you edit the sketch and normal to, and then if we look over here, uh, it says insert sketch on edge of edge of wheel face. So let's see sketch for arm armhole that's what he calls it okay uh, so let's so important thing to do is the first thing we should do is really go over and see okay it's on the face so that's important all right oh edge so that's the wrong one okay so the student already has this part wrong so it's actually this edge okay and something's wrong. I can't I can't select that for some reason. Let me see. Select the planar face or reference plane. Hmm. So already we got something wrong. Okay, so that's okay. This video is gonna be a little longer, but at least we'll dissect what's happening. So if you go back here, now he already extruded that, that part is done, that's okay, and then insert sketch on wheel, wheel face, and they highlight in green, which for us will probably be blue, it's a different version. Let's take a look, there seems to be some things happening, let's take a look at a lot bigger. Um, what we could do is we can cut this thing in half and take a look. And I see here... This is the edge that we're looking to get uh, connect onto. Okay, make sure you put this right in the center like that, and then make sure every so often it focuses. Okay, good. So what's happening? I don't know. I don't actually know what's happening. Why it won't select that? Um, but I'll find out. Uh, let's take a look at something here. I think let's go back into the sketch. And let's take a look at this one. There might be a problem with the original sketch. And yes, there it is. That is supposed to be that is supposed to be uh, vertical. Okay. So I'm going to take that line and I'm going to make it vertical. That's important. The other part about it is that I notice that there's a lot of blue lines, and we know that blue lines mean that they're not defined. Okay, so there's something wrong with this drawing in general. Okay, now I know that the 15 degrees is good, so I'll put that here. I know the 30 degrees for that is good. I know this is good. I know this is good. I know this is good. Uh, now from here, let's see, I'm going to add a relation, add a relation. So this one and this one, they're supposed to be parallel, which, which would help. Okay, those are now black. And then now over here is important. Let's see. Now this one seems to be jumping up and it, it can move around anywhere it wants. But what I'm in, concerned about is this line supposed to be horizontal. Okay, so now that's black. 
And then this one here is supposed to be, also this one's supposed to be horizontal. Good, and now, now why, now it moves like this, okay? Now why does it move like that? Well, because the measurement, if you go back, way back, back here, the measurement from the, from the edge, from here, basically from the edge to the center is 3.8, according to the draftings that they provide. So that's simple, so I'll make sure I do that. So I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna click the center, and I'm gonna, right now it's 3.9. So 3.8, there you go, okay. Now it's black, everything's cool on this side, but over here we have a bit of a problem. We've gotta change this one and this one it's, it's two, so that's actually 2.8. And you notice in the background that the, the, per, the yellow that kept updating. And everything else seems good, so I'm gonna uh, check. It updates on its own. There it is, and now this area here is gonna be squared up. And then, that was a section view, and I can just undo that at any time. I don't know if you know that feature, but it's a nice feature so you can dissect things and take a look at what's going on, okay? So I'm gonna turn that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna now, okay. All right, this was good, I'm glad, see, mistakes are cool because it makes good videos like this. All right, now, back to the task at hand. Okay, so we have our sketch, which, okay, no, not yet. Um, we're still starting with, we have to change the face to this face. There, and now it works because that face is now a squared off face. Whereas before, I think it was undefined, and I think that was part of the problem. It was a, a blue line, okay? All right, good. So, um, all right, so at this point in the video, just take a look over here for a second. Uh, make sure it's, right? And, uh, okay, so good. I'm glad you're still with the video. That was a long part just to get to the starting point of the question. And the original question was, how do you put the through holes for the what he calls the arms, but basically the five spokes? Okay, so uh, okay, so the video is basically starting over now, but I'm glad that you saw the problems and to go back into your history, you can always change stuff. So come on back in here. Now you, you know that this is called the design tree, right, over here, and you can always change stuff in the history, or you can even, you can even roll back. Oops, you can roll back to, you can, oops, you can roll back to there, or you could go forward. And I'm sorry about my voice is, and my nose is stuffed up so because I'm sick. But anyway, so here we go. Let's let's do the sketch. We already fixed that, and let's edit the sketch. Okay, now we are on the same page. Okay, starting now. Okay, so let's look at the drawing. Going back down here. Okay, right here. So what they want you to do is they put a center line, and then you're going to put a. Um, what they call uh, another, they call it a center line, but it's a basically a, it's a reference line, reference line. So there's three, three reference lines, and then there's two of those. Okay, so let's do this. So we're gonna do a, they call it a center line, but I can use it for anything I want, okay? And then um, we're gonna take a look back again at the directions. So I, they want me to stop at the edge of the circle. That's cool. So now what I can do is I just extend it till I stop. And notice it'll go anywhere. And that's not good for my purposes. I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna click on the line, not, not, see what I did was there, I clicked on the, on the midpoint, this is not good. Click on the line itself and then click on uh, vertical and now it's vertical, okay? And then the question is how far, uh, so it's 36 inches from, from there to there, okay. So then, um, so let's put that in. So from here to here is uh, 36 inches. Uh, sorry, 36 degrees, 36 degrees, I'm sorry. And then uh, the next thing is they want you to put a regular line, or let me see actually. From the edge of that circle to that point on the inside of the rim and then space that by 0.50. Okay. So, okay, we can do that. So from the edge to here, 
and and from here to here is 0.50. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. So we've got half of it now, and it doesn't say in the directions to do this, but I'm just going to mirror it. So what do you want to mirror? That's the first question. I'm going to say this one and this one. And what's the mirror line center? They call it mirror about right there. And then there you go. Uh, so now green check. Okay, so now I've got this thing. Now this is the biggest mistake that or most common mistake that people make is they think they're done and they say extrude cut, right? But they're not. The biggest mistake that people do is they forgot to close this little triangle in here, right? And so, like, let's say you went to go do it, right? You, you, let's say you stopped the video right there by mistake and you're like, oh, I know what to do. Extrude cut and you wanted this, right? And it's going to say, unable to create the thing. Unless, then you start clicking around and you click thin feature. Well, here's what you're going to get. You're going to get a thin cut that didn't go all the way through. Except for over here. Some parts of it, right? So, and you can even look inside there, right? Is that what you wanted? No. If you even look at it like this, you see, it was just a thin cut. This is not what you want, right? This is not what you wanted. This is not what you asked for. This is nothing. So, let's go ahead and delete that 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 uh, cut and go back to the sketch, and let's say to ourselves, "But well, how do we make it a closed situation?" So what I do is I go to um, convert entities. You good? Okay. And then what you would do is, uh, you could go a little closer actually, like that. Yeah. And you would say, okay, convert entities. I want to convert this line right here. No, not that. This line. And it's the edge. And you say yes. But there's a problem. You don't want all of it. So you go trim. And you would get rid of this, and you would also get rid of here. And then if you go zoom in, you got to get rid of this one too. And now you have this closed. It's hard to tell, but there's, there's a line right there that wasn't here. Okay? So now, if you, go, if you say, okay, I'm done with that. Let me extrude cut. And they say, well, what do you want to extrude cut? And you say that sketch that I just did, it's now potentially there and you'd say through all and you'd say both sides and you'd say green check and now <clears throat> you have achieved all right i'm a terrible singer but basically um you did it okay that's not done it's not done yet but it is correctly cut that is what you're looking for, right? So um, we go back to the directions. That's what they asked for. The next thing is they don't even um, show you the cut. The next thing is they want you to add a fillet. And I think from here you can handle it. Fill it, fill it in the corner, circle pattern, right? Circle pattern, let's say you did a circle pattern. I think it's pretty much right here. What features this one and then what is your Revolve and then I think there's five and you could see where this is going So if you click green check, you're not done yet, but you do have some rims I don't know. All right, that was terrible beatboxing, but that's basically it. Okay Okay, so that is the end of the video even though that I didn't do the uh the, all the proper, um, all the proper, uh, what's going on, um, the, the fillets and stuff like that. And I'm going to delete this sketch. And now my student, who's probably crying, has to do this from scratch. Okay. And, but that's okay. This is how it goes. All right. Okay. Put the video on me. All right. I'm Mr. G. Wait, give me some room. Okay.
I'm Mr. G, and that was your SOLIDWORKS video. Uh, I think it's part two of the how to make a 17-inch rim on a, a, a program called SOLIDWORKSTUTORIALS.COM. Not my website. It's not bad, though. Okay, it's not bad for beginners. It's a good set. All right, Memorial High School, Mr. G. See you later.